else's uh, worst defeat ever as yeah. a manager. And, and um, it came from a person who was praised B- BS love. Yeah. Like Pep Guardiola has talked about him in the past. And, I mean, he didn't hold back. And I, I don't expect him to, but, I mean, some of the goals that they let in were just such – it was just so poor from Leeds' end. Like, checking out, turning over – Horrible turnovers and obviously just their defensive capabilities and man marking is just atrocious. Yeah, it's it's hard to say what was I don't I don't want to say the better, but like what was more astonishing on the day? How well City played versus how poorly Leeds played. I think like, it's more Leeds. Than uh, yeah, I think it's City. more Leeds. City City was balling though. They played really freaking well. A good segue to your point because I I think that's a good topic. Anybody can up. look good though when they're when okay, they're playing but, against team. Okay, but I'm not. I, I'm not dis- I, just, I will argue you this. Okay. Let me hear it. If before you had seen any result from any match, from I know that there was much less, so you had fewer teams to pick from, but pretend everybody played. If you looked at the results and didn't see who the teams were and you saw one team had scored seven goals, be honest. What's the team you think that it would be? It'd be City. I agree. Um, but right my, away. my take yeah. is that they Nobody just, else beats Leeds 7 nothing even they, on Leeds' worst day. They just nicked right. three points off Wolves, who were down 10 men, for early on in the game, or just before the half. The week with the weekend prior, and they go into Leeds, who obviously at the moment are known for conceding goals at this level because how they play, they press high. They have today you could see it. They pressed high. Arsenal scored four, scored yeah. a lot, but they, they didn't score seven. But they but they press <laughs> high with no intent, and they're basically just pressing for the sake of pressing, and that leaves a lot of gaps for their team. So City, obviously, with the quality that they have, yes, they have the quality, but it speaks more to Leeds is how and how they're set up and how Leeds is set up as a team uh, and how lost they are in their system. I mean, they don't trust I each agree other. I agree that they're totally lost, but this is the same. I Leeds. think those are just two different. But the same things. Leeds team that came out the week prior and held Chelsea to yeah. the ninety. Yeah, but they're minute. so inconsistent right now, and I don't. I think they've this, always been. Yeah, Chelsea, but that's this, more about Chelsea's but, inconsistency, but, I think. But this Leeds speaks. Is, but this speaks more. This game. Speaks more to Leeds, in my opinion. Obviously, City have the quality. To, they are, they have the quality to nick seven goals out of anybody. But it, it's the way that Leeds are set up and how they play that allow them to do that with the quality that it's they have. It's always been that. I'm not though. saying City think, don't have the quality. I'm just saying you give them the opportunities like Leeds have been doing to a lot of teams, and you're gonna get you're gonna get seven sco- seven goals yeah, put behind but, you. I mean, it's also it's a different Leeds. I agree this season, but like Leeds last season when they finished. Uh, pretty far up the table. That was also a Leeds team that conceded six goals. What United beat them six one, didn't they? Five one this season, but that's more. I thought that game was. If you look at that game, that was that spoke more volumes about Leeds than it did about United, considering where United are now, where they were with Ole throughout yeah. the, throughout the season. That's my. That's why I, I mean, look at Leeds it like that. Is definitely, they're in desperation mode right now, and I don't if they're know, not going to get rid of Bielsa, then sign defenders, then <laughs> yeah. sign do something. This is yeah. a well, stagnant club. Is like, this is what we've been bringing up for a long time. Yeah. I don't know why not a lot of other people are either. Like I, it's like the it's like the he's like oh no they'll, he's the godfather of that club. He brought them up. They'll never. But like it's obviously not sustainable. They were okay last season, but now the league is the teams in front of them have moved way past them. So either yeah. he's got to go or they got to change the way they play football. But Bielsa I, Ball is like the most branded coach to team style that there is in the league. I mean, you could argue. So I, I don't, there's not a lot of fingers to point. You, you there are player performances, but I mean, come on. I, I, I was going to say, I don't think, I mean, they can go sign the players, but ultimately if the man, the man in charge is just going to tell you to run forward at any time you like, with no well, who regard, would want to do that? That's, that's like that's def- what they did that, today. Yeah, that's their main. I think their transition from offense to defense is terrible. They like when they lose the ball. Like obviously they have a lot forward and they run a lot back. But that there's like a split second in between that where if you're a good team like like Arsenal did today, capitalizing uh, like not, the 15 <clears throat> teams that are above them. In the, the yeah, this right. what City does. Like that split second that a De Bruyne or an Odegaard can split. Can split a defense with a pass. They're they're through, yeah. and it's just it's and it's happening. Last year they, I would say they had better like Calvin Phillips, all that like they had a better system to do that. And I don't know why, but this season with the players they have, they just can't cope with it. And they don't. I mean, it is a little bit on the players not thinking, but I think it's because of what they're told. Like, they, I think one of the Robbies was talking about it today. Like, if you're a player. You don't like when you win the ball, you don't immediately run forward. You have to think for yourself and be like, recognize what's going on. Be like, all right, three of my guys are darting down the right hand side of the pitch. I should probably sit back on this one because, like, God forbid we give the ball away. Like, we're going to need to defend and they're going to be coming a lot quicker because we have so many numbers for. Like, so it's going to be, I don't know. If they're going to play that way, 
then they need different players. They need a different yeah. outfit. Yeah. But the thing is, what's the appeal to come to Leeds right now? Hey, do you want to run more than you've ever run in your <laughs> entire God given life and lose seven to yeah, one for no payoff? I'll tell you what, <laughs> Leeds United, Ellen Road, that's the place for you. I mean, I just think it's going to be pretty difficult for them to yeah. do the reshaping that's necessary for them to play this way in the time that they have. They're not actually that far from the relegation spot. I mean, if they squeeze up this season, I mean, next season they got to be favorites, right? Especially yeah. with a team like Newcastle will probably get relegated coming back up almost assuredly. So I don't know. I just, it's like really becoming a, a timing issue with them. They don't really seem to be taking it that seriously. I think teams just know how to play against them now. They just know how to open them up and obviously kick that thing up the field. And <laughs> mm. gonna there's gonna be two people there, maybe. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be Mez Luke Mez Ailing. You <laughs> Luke yeah. Ailing, Messier, just Mez Luke Ailing struggling, no, struggling no, to no, catch no, Melly. Though one of the center backs, Stroik, he was in scouted football. He's a uh, he's an up and comer, yeah. a young guy. He, he's got yeah. weird because he doesn't have a position. Because I've seen him. Play. I mean, obviously Leeds plays like, everyone. He everywhere. can play center mid if he, too. He can yeah, center back, him, center I've mid. seen him play. I've seen him play center mid more. Mm -hmm. I've seen him like yeah. play anything. Yeah. Yeah. Melly too is also a scouted football youngster who is on the rise. I feel like these guys are just getting abused right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad look. They got to get to a stable club, man. They have some notable. You see the bench today. There was like five players post two well, thousand. They had co they had a lot of they had some COVID cases too, so that's part of the but reason. Still, it's like but they brought talk but, about no depth. Yeah, that, the that's bad depth. Like, <laughs> they had a fifteen year old on the bench. I mean, props <laughs> to him. He's had a phenomenal season. Damn. But like that kid's you're, on you're some gonna, wages right now. You're gonna <laughs> what go is his parents making that? Like Macaulay Culkin? Like <laughs> Like who may, who is making that money actually? Or his parents just like let's go. <laughs> we got so. a full year till he's sixteen and can like legally make his own money. <laughs> let's just milk this kid dry. 